Okay, so today I'm going to be working on what I hope to do saving, saving content or making it a lot more accessible or explicit because right now it just saves it automatically when you exit the program. Right? There's no save, save as, save all options here. There's just nothing. It exits and it save, creates the content right there. I need to actually start putting in a way to actually interact with the program to allow saving saving that stuff. <clears throat> so to begin with, I need an iron GUI item here. That's going to be like saved on HPP. Start with, I need a reference for some stuff. Get that. If in def, iron GUI, save HPP. Define that. And get that. Great, great. Mm, class. So I am really save. We'll just do that for the moment. Public, private, great. I need this. I'm going to need both of these. Ah, okay, just this for the moment. So that I can register stuff. Like that. I do these. Privately, mm. that's a start. So uh, the source side, R S. All right. That that include. That we want to include. Uh, I need I'm Dewey. What do I have? I need a namespace. I need the empty. I need, okay. I need the array and I need a string view. Char const star is one where we only have save items in the file menu right now. So, um, File, capital F file. Okay. Got these. Got that. And that. Okay. Cancel that. Cancel that. Cancel that. Okay. All right, how does this work? <clears throat> I need to include the foo state. So I could actually do like p state red add UI, which is this object, the function, which is like. Save render menu elements. Close that up. Render custom UI. We got menu name array dot data and then the size. Same thing for removals. Okay. Here we need to do auto star p data equals interpret cast of this. Menu name is p menu name. I'll call it, I'll change that name to P menu name. It makes a bit more sense. Um, if file, I'll need there's two items. Then we return true. Return 
false. A new item. Save. Something. And we have another one which will be save as. Or at the moment we just have save. If you hit save. Uh, how do I save? The application has initialization on D in it. We have this function. We go in there and we just do this. So I can probably grab this out. Go back here, do this. I need to include that. That allowed me to reduce this file anyways. No. Scrap that, scrap that. Delete these. Okay. Application. Get rid of this. I need that as well. I need to pass that in at some time. Hmm. There you are. So it's got an error. It's probably since this doesn't include anything else. So I need to include IMX YAML, I think, for that. So that. Mm, oh, I removed a file. Didn't actually remove it from here. No. Ah, here it is. And there we go. Okay, we got save, we got test export. This, so we're up to this point. I need that to be passed in. This will be the simulation state. That's the one we're editing. We're okay. I don't want to pass it in as a starting thing because that's a bad idea. That's not going to work. Because otherwise, I have to recreate the whole thing every time. So I need to have the ability to like set it and clear it. So full simulation state. Star P simulation state. Like that, and I need to clear it. Okay. I need this to start off as null pointer. That equals that. Great. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. MP simulation state equals P simulation state. I need two, so that's MP simulation state. Save that, save that, compile it. P data that. Oh, I need to, if I don't have anything, I need it to be disabled. So null, false, okay. False and true is P data. MP simulation state not equal null pointer. I should disable it by default. So if I was to compile it, I'm not setting it. Actually, I'm not even uh, rendering it at all, anyways.
save HTTP. Mm -hmm. Hmm. If we go down here, we're going to have. Is there any matter for do we save? In the initialization section around here, the register UI and do we state. All right, so we got that. So now, on the file menu, it's not going to do anything. Illegal. Oh, I'm not returning anything. I need to return that. Okay, uh, that's one thing I need to do, is I need to put that beforehand, and it's disabled right now. So if I was to actually do this, and then let's say UI save dot mm, set that, which is p simulation set dot get, like that. Uh, if I delete this right now and then while running the application and then I hit save, I'll get some stuff here and then this will re-exist with everything. Lovely. So that's a good solid start. Um, do I want to save it as it is? As a good starting point? Probably. One thing I will probably want to do is also kind of want to take some of this stuff, uh, the, you take this editor mode stuff out of here. Probably. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Okay. So probably I'm on better save already. So let's see. We get this. Can we take it out of here? I don't think we can take it out of here because it's probably still using something for the import. I still have this somewhere. The import stuff is still somewhere around here. Here. State import, import state. Here, I'm still using this. Search paths. Um, sorry, what am I doing? Top level data set, which is called what? Persistent. I actually called it persistent. That's why. Okay. Hmm, hmm. Yeah, okay. So let's see what we can save now. That's gone, that's gone, that's been added, that's been added, and this has been added, okay. Uh, 
right. So now next is I'd have to rename. Okay, whatever. I need another thing for saving as. I'm not going to quite commit it. I have it all at least staged. So I need another one. Save as dot dot dot. Which will be the same set, no pointer, false. Key data, MP simulation state, not equal, no pointer. Before I do this, what I realistically want to do is I have, I have that. I need a bool for um, save file dialog. It's false. Save confirm dialog. Okay. So what I want to do is like the m save confirm dialog. True. Then I have the custom thing if um, You're under custom UI. Okay, I need to do like this. If that, otherwise that, okay. I don't have anything for this quite yet, but I will I have at least this. So if, what's the dialogue versus modal? Do I want a dialogue versus modal? One of these, like, um, takes control. Okay. I need a modal. Okay. Begin pop up modal, which is named um, save confirm dialog. A modal, sorry. And the pop up. I need something that. Hold on, is there is in somewhere here test data to not do I not have a test? Like something that I just kind of or is it up here? Demo? I have the I'm GUI demo stuff. Not using it yet. Okay. So Something like that, we'll add a separator. Which 
G1 to save. We've got a separator, then we'll have like a. How does this work? Same line for these. Save and cancel. If save, then we run this. Yeah, I think. See how this works. Mm, that didn't do anything. That is unfortunate. Confirm dialogue. Okay, right now, it's false, right? Yeah, false or false. Okay, that's great. That's correct. I uh, hit save. Should mean that this P data is now true, but it's not actually doing anything. So what's it's supposed to be that open Okay. Still not happening. Just nothing. Just nothing. I mean, th th this is being called, right? Yeah. Oh, I need this stuff, don't I? Something like that. Nope. What's going on? That's being hit. Okay, great. And then this is supposed to get hit all the time, but it's just not happening. All right, then begin this. Turn window, blah, blah. If not, is pop up open? What? Do I need a tree node? Is that what's going on? Okay, let's try wrapping in this thing. We 
we go in, we got Oh, I see. I have to go through that instead. Hold on. Begin pop up modal this. I have to go through this. This is what's going on. If button delete, I have to open this. Save confirm modal. Is it would be just inside this tree perhaps? So I wouldn't even need these. Stop that and be open. No, no, that didn't work. Okay, maybe, okay, back up a little bit. So we do this, we do this, save confirm dialog. If, then we do this. If p data, um, save confirm dialog. Save confirm modal. And then we There we go. Okay, it has to be in the same contextual area. Save, okay. Interesting. <clears throat> so I could still use that to go across. It's not as nice. So now I kind of have to do the save as. Now the save as will have to go through a few steps. First of all, I need to determine the exporter. I want. I, I need. I need a dialog to choose the exporter, and then I have to go into the file dialog. <clears throat> I'd also need to automatically save what it is. Save the automatic selection in here by default. Wouldn't I? Yes. Hmm. Let me grab a quick drink. All right. Well, the first part, selecting the ex the exporter, save that for a moment. Uh, first of all, let's see if I can get a uh, file dialog. Now, I don't think, like, file... Hmm. 
that doesn't do anything open recent these are all false Trying to find something like a file dialog. Doesn't look like it. Okay, uh, let's uh, browse the internet. Uh, let's say so, uh, that's not very useful. I just need something that'll work temporarily. Mm, okay, okay. So we got this is 13 commits. Not really much has happened. Looks interesting. Looks all right. This is Windows only. Hmm. doesn't what about this one windows linux and os x so that's a it's a positive thing 244 commits bunch of releases okay okay not as pleasant or as slick as the other one but the durant Required to use in Windows. This is included in the lib only branch for your convenience. Okay. It's going with the. Hmm. All right, I think I'll go with this one. Is there... There's not really much else here. Okay. Unless there's another one in the top couple of... Let's look at that. Mm, maybe... Okay. What's this one look like? I'm going to file dial. That's this one again, isn't it? Yeah. And this is similar vein again. Hmm. All right, I'll roll with this one for the time, for a short while, for however long. This is all meant to be temporary. I just need to get stuff need to use this to get other stuff off the ground then I'll come back to the UI later I, hmm. all right file let's go to external let's see if I can new thing
external and the file dialog. Uh, first of all, let's uh, see if we can just clone this. Let's see how that works before we decide to actually add it as a sub module, shall we? So how does this look like? File dialog, la 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 la. I'm not sure why it's including this and this and this in the project. Or is it supposed to be, is this why there's that, was it? Um, that's supposed to be another branch, right? Okay, so they're working on doing that. Lib only. So what's this? On which branch is this? Lib only and lib standard file system work in progress. Okay. So I'll go with lib only. I need to, I need to change over to this. Or at least, what's the tag? Um, nope. That's not what I wanted. Ah. Okay. Uh, MIT. Okay. When was this done? September. Okay, that's this year, right? Yeah, this year. Okay. MIT is acceptable. STB, directory entity, it's included. So how does this work? Uh, yeah, okay, it's a lot of stuff. Read me. Which I can just read in uh, this document anyways, right? Okay, so here we're going to add a file, Delete that. close that, put that to the side, we want this here, this. that uh, private we have just the one so it'll be like what MD, file dialog slash MD, file dot CPT. We need to this public. It's going to be this directory. 
That's going to allow us to get that in. What's this? Let's see if we can even compile it. I'm probably going to require, yeah. Publicly requires I am GUI. It doesn't require anything else. Seemingly not. Okay. So we can, we'll just, I imagine there's nothing specifically about exports in here. It's probably just given good old fashioned all this. Looks like it. So we'll just have to make sure we auto export everything. Okay. So going into here, include. What is it? I'm GUI file dialog dot H. I will bring it in as part of this. Log. Okay. So that, that'll bring it into here so I can actually use it here. Menu name, render custom UI, render save file dialogs. This is what we're going to be here. I need to change this to be False. And then I need to open the save file model. Yeah, it's a model. Okay. Begin pop up model. Save file mode. Okay, we got that. And then we'll do the same thing after this one, just in case. We don't need this one again. We'll just kind of have that anyways. And then, how's this working? Simple dialogue, multiple dialogues. Okay, we'll just do a simple dialogue for the moment. Instance, do. Open dialogue. Choose your path. Choose. Oh, I need the, uh, yeah. Choose file. Um, I don't know. LCPT dot HPT for the moment, and then whatever this is dot. Should probably oh the file path name. So that's the starting that filters starting count selection one. User data. 
Not sure what that is yet. Okay. Display action if K. Do 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 do. We'll just kind of sneak that over. Save to location. If is okay, get file path name. If we actually go through with this to this point, then pause. Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem to do anything. Have I just not hooked it up? I just haven't hooked it up. Unless, oh, I didn't close the, I didn't close it, did I? Yep. And pop up, open dialogue, da 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 da. That is, and then we need to, something to close the current pop up. Like that. All right. Don't try to. Hmm. Well, that didn't do anything. Okay. If. Okay, let's not even put it in there. Let's just get this by itself in here. Well, okay, that's kind of not really working. I mean, I can't go in, so that's not great. I can't exit, that's not great either. To have a directory chooser, set the file extension filter to null pointer. Okay. I want to go inside. How do I go inside? Cancel doesn't really seem to do much yet. Um. Some pain, okay. Custom icons and colors, okay. Filter, multi selection, file dialog. Strings, detail mode view. Okay, we can choose certain things. So if I have a custom include folder here, include, and I include that first, 
and copy config to here to make sure it's first in the path and it's used beforehand. So I can use tables use tables no uncommenting define I'm GUI tables does not appear to be here come on Does, is this even in use here? It's not even here, so I'll just define that instead. That doesn't seem to actually do much of anything. Or did it? Did it recompile? It may have. It's recompiling a bunch of stuff. Okay, so now we have table stuff, which is nicer. I still can't quite seem like, okay. Build? No, that's not doing anything. Oh, the usual flailing about as you try to figure out how exactly to use this. Some custom something or other. If is okay. Okay. Open mod okay, I can open a modal instead. So I don't actually have to do this stuff myself. If, okay, hold on. P data m save file dialog equals false. That looks to be a bit better there. Cancel still doesn't do anything. I can't get out. Display that. Okay. We open it. We bind what? Info pane? I don't know what that does yet. So if it's okay, so there must be another, there must be another function somewhere. It is okay, can close, get selection, PR. How do I, okay, to the header. closed with okay result false dialog closed with cancel result oh so then the opposite is if not that 
then we just kind of set this and do that as well, right? Oh no, this would have to be in here. Uh, no, wrong, 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 wrong. It's not this. Okay. We can add overwrite protection, which sounds like a good idea. So we got that. One. Maybe if I just say that, then it can be it then it can move around. No pointer and this confirm overwrite. I still can't go inside. Come on, let me in. Make a path, reset the current directory, create directory. Ooh. Okay. I still can't go anywhere. It ain't right. I can I can do it this way, but I can't use this to move around. There's no. Hmm. Did it actually create the new thing? DF? There it is. There's six issues. Maybe one of them drag a file or directory and down. Increase that path to it. If I do this, um, use this, define those two, and then I change uh, da, 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 lib only. Standard file system work in progress. Do that instead. What does it look like? I still can't move anywhere. It's not a great. Save. Let's find this. Open modal. Go to here. 
Okay, open simple modal. Path and file name can be specified. Key dialog. Okay. Do, do, do. Dialog flags. What do we got here? Height column. Okay. Default is confirming overwrite. Okay. Disable create directory button. Hide column type, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Not really helping. Title, filters, path, default file name. Count selection max, user data. What's the difference? Key title filters, key path and file name. Okay. Still can't explore the file system. Very, very weird. Hmm. Very weird. Surely I'm like, not, yeah, you can explore drives. How do you go in it? How do you go in it? Why am I not able to do this? I, mu I must be missing something. There must be something in here. That I'm missing. Choose, okay, let me just use these options. Choose file. Let's just do that, shall we? Do 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 choose file, blah. Like that. And then the confirm overwrite. Is this like a Windows only thing? Maybe. Okay, let me do, this was the stuff to get the basic going, right? Yeah, so I can do that, then I'll add this as an add-on, and then I'll switch to Windows and have a look there.
file menu. To the test. Test export directory. Okay. Uh, great. Let's do this. Let's kind of move back. And do we, let's remove that. <clears throat> now we'll do uh, get some module add. Whether it's using direct, uh, you know what, we'll just kind of go with uh, the tag always. But first of all, I need to actually get it in. Clone that, please. V0.6.1. Okay. Got that and got that. This, 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 this. Test file dialog. Do that. Put it up. And let me switch to Windows real quick and test it out there. And I'll be RB. Because I need the graphics card to work this, and I don't have a second one anymore. Okay, uh, Windows revealed a little bit of an issue with DLLs and IAM GUI that I'm not dealing with uh, contexts correctly. The context, the IAM GUI context is only local to each DLL, so I can't share it across DLLs unless I do a little bit of work, which I'm going to do right now so <clears throat> uh for the mo okay in order to do this what i'm going to do is i'm going to be adding in here it's going to be like a global context that's based on this so in here we're going to have a, i don't know in here i create a context uh, at the beginning of the application somewhere Right about here. We'll just we'll just do it here. Create context. Equals that. And what I'm gonna to have to do is I'm gonna to have to give it to basically everything else in order to make it work properly. So that means I'm going to have to change this to accept co I'm going to be context and what have you. Or when I initialize, hmm, yeah, here we go. When I initialize, nope. Hmm. See this? Hmm. Yeah, when I initialize, that'll make the most sense. Okay, we open it up, we close it up, and we put it right about there. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to destroy the context, not here. So that's going to screw everyone else up. This should just be, whoop. Uh, 
I'm not sure if it's that or a class. I have all the warnings on, right? And I do now. Okay, we got that. We're going to set. Set current context is P context. Okay, we got it for that. We'll get. We'll do the same thing here. When I initialize, I need an initialization function. That's not great. Would I? Maybe it's better to just have it as part of this. See, these are getting it from the same place. Maybe it makes sense, more sense to put it in here. Well, the, no, because then I I need to have make sure it's available before I hit this to do that stuff. So I create it externally. I pass it into that, pass it into this. So. Set and context. Cross the yellow lines in. See if I can grab the stuff in I'm GUI that talks about this. Yeah. I need this. So kind of uh, fix that up. Nope. This is what I've got. I can make this just uh, struck that. This is just a pointer. That's fine. And then I also want to kind of pass that context around. So I need to expand these functions as well.
that equals that. Okay, and then I need, need maybe I need to retrieve it. I don't think I need to retrieve it. I just need to pass it on. Realistically. Like, do I pass it on every time? Or... Do I just pass it to the things that need it when on creation? No. Yeah, no. Do I really need it here? No. I don't think I need it here. What I do need it for is... I need UI save. I need UI save to have the context set at least. I know that. And then I need to switch back to Windows to figure out if it works. Oh, I... I sh mm. Either... No, that was a bad move. Either I keep, like, context... I need to set it for each DLL. Do I, you know, because I only have to set it once, really. Struct that. So, yeah, when I go to initialize this around here, I need to go down to here somewhere. Okay, I'll find out in a second. Creating initial editor mode, it'll be right about, no, this is resizing it. How do we use it? Would it be down here? Nope. Nope. About here. Okay, got that, that, that. We need... I created the context in here, so this will be the same context that I can move around and pass around. need these anymore. They're basically defaulted. Uh, this was previously declared as a struct when it's actually considered a class. Is it? You're right. Okay, well, let's do one thing. Changed. IMD.
Got sharing. Um, same. Libraries not sharing global data across. Then we got that and that, so we want to pass that in up here somewhere. So we got this, and we got UI save dot set on do context, which is PIND context. Like that. Okay, let's see if this works. I committed without even checking if it works. Yeah, all right. Okay, right, and I still couldn't test that because of this thing that I'm doing right now. Great. It never ends, it never ends. Okay, we do have, before I put that in, what was the build task? It was going on about this, right? Struck that. Correct. save stuff. The client and a number of items, which is good. Uh, what was it doing? Git rebase dash i head um, back six. Okay, put that up. Back to Windows BRB. Okay, uh, the same issue seems to exist on Windows as well. So, uh, not really. Oh, okay, I got something to do in there. Um, uh, no, that'd be right. What I'm going to do is bring in the I am GUI demo, run that, see if it'll tell me anything of interest to do with the input. Maybe I've screwed up the input somehow. Kind of all I have left to think about, possibly. <clears throat> Be right here. Show demo window, that, that. Yep, yeah, it's always true. I'll need to link it in. demo okay I 
See, like it's not showing the clicked, double clicked, or released, or anything like that. Oh, hold on. Just like for a moment. Come on. Just, just. I have one frame. Okay, what, what's, what about this? What's going on here? Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. But that's also like zooming along, isn't it? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There was something when I was doing this, right? Okay, that that takes a while, but if I just backspace, it's like instant. Wait, hold on. Mouse uh, del down shows. Yeah, that's a bit bloody fast. Like, it's like 10... T no, it's not tied to the frame rate, is it? Is that like half of my problems with I'm GUIs? Because it's... I'm too fast. Uh, right. Steep for... I don't know, 20... No seconds, perhaps? Um, ten milliseconds. That'll get me a hundred frames a second. Uh, I need to include thread somewhere, so. Sure. Whoa, see that's way better. Two, three, oh, okay, it's still a bit fast. It's expecting a 60 millisecond thing, isn't it? All right. Uh, that would also mean for developer console, if I was all right, something like that. It'll be backspaces. Yeah. Let me guess. This is, this is why, like, it's click. Okay, no. Double click. Yeah, okay. That's why. It was trying to use the built-in double click mechanism, and it was just speeding right past that. <sighs> Way faster. All right. Uh, so how do I deal with this? And my uh. what if would that work? No, that wouldn't work. Would it? What if I only selected um updated the input every ten ish milliseconds rather than Let's keep these as they are, that's fine. No, but I'll quickly lose uh, selects on the keyboard. I need to artificially slow it down very largely. Okay, here, you know what? Sh 
actually slow down for three. Sleep for, okay, no, 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 I need to do it like. Else, something like that, like that. Let's try for 14 milliseconds. That'll get me close to 60 frames a second if it takes one point something milliseconds to fire off seemingly. Okay. Tied to the rate. in a millisecond and an artificial artificial Okay, we got that. What's this? This is I'm got GUI demo. We can scrap that. Back up. This is what? Why? Okay. Not entirely sure on that one. Uh. That'll fix up to something like that. Back to about seven. Okay. Render context. This kind of goes into this. Into this. OK. 
Okay. I also want to remove that down to here. So I can do that. Then I can back this one up. Okay, so this is all the I'm GUI file dialog stuff, which now works because I can slow down the application enough. Okay, I have, okay, I need to do, I need to put the renderer into something or If I'm adding and removing I am GUI on the fly, that may mean that I cannot, might not be able to set the I am GUI context on a start into the DLLs. Hmm. But I'm GUI context would actually allow me to perhaps run two windows worth of I'm GUI stuff at once. But do I really want to do that? Do I really want to embed that much I'm GUI in at the time at currently? Like how long am I going to keep using this? For quite a while, but how much do I really want to embed everything in? Do I want to make accommodations for it? Not particularly. Okay. So, <clears throat> for the moment, I'll just kind of do this. Um, I can do this. Stick to that. As well as this. Under context, put that back there, okay. To this we have save file dialogue and all that stuff kind of working again that's great so file dialogue is there now I need to add I need to be okay yeah not great no pointer is choose a directory if I recall okay that looks like it'll be right so I need to first of all before I go to the save confirm dialog or the save file dialog I need to have one for choosing the exporter So one thing I need to kind of choose is, okay, I have importers. I do, how do I choose importing? How do I determine importing? If I recall it, you pass it in like a directory or a file and then, then it will try to determine one that works. 
Load settings, make tuple, import state. Here it is. Goes in, it, uh, it creates a simulation state. Goes down to that. Not found. Try search paths. Search and create importer. Search paths if exists. Then importer. Create importer. Go into that. Do 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 do. Try and it just goes through and tries to create an importer. Okay. Because inside of this, I have registered import generators. Inside of here, I've registered the import generator. Okay. What about the exporter? Did I do anything about this? I don't think so. I think these are all basically still public, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's based on this class, which is one of these. All right. And this will be a, one of those classes that's fully exported, which means that this is going to complain on the Windows side real hard about, I need to export it for the V table, but I'm exporting these things, which is going to like just reach at me about so this is of course exploding in the work that needs to be done I basically need a rework I mean, this is just these even though it's based on that but that's because why is that I don't know why that is actually When, okay, when I'm adding some content, let's say physics, libs, yaml, include import registrar, this is export. Okay, there's the export functionality. There's the import functionality going in here. Great, we add on register. Go to YAML importer. If YAML importer generator, which is that type, this is exported fully, which does have maps, which is going, it's going to complain about this. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Crap. Hmm. All right. Let's re look at. IMX, import export. How do I work with the importers? How do I get importers? So I need to be able to select the exporter. 
I need like some common location to look for exporters and get them from. And that would imply the requirement that hmm. So right now I have this. I have a global this sitting somewhere. When I do create importer, I'm passing that around. This goes through the available importers and the generators, which are locally stored here, and tries to find one that works. Okay, so I need something similar for exporters. I need to be able to like choose an exporter or hmm. Perhaps hmm. How, 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 how? Because, unfortunately, I believe like the exporter has some custom behavior for this stuff, for the YAML specific stuff. Returns a vector of these things. Not, not really something I can put into a base class. And, and this is also suffering from, I believe, I open up the um, virtual machine. Yeah, if I look, like the exporter has uh, vector DLL interface issues as well for the exporter, and I presume the importer will be up here somewhere. Exporter, exception. Maybe somewhere, whatever. Thing is, I can't, I can't continue with this unless I can figure out some other way to store data internally that won't trigger DLL issues down the line. And then I'd also need to still be able to determine what kind of what type it is. What what do I do for the overwrite? Export dependencies, group index data, blah, 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 blah. So export state, that's basically the, that's the public function. It's, it's really just that. You give it a path to export stuff to, and then you have the simulation state that you want to export. Fine enough. Okay. Presumably I'll also have to have like some other like secondary state to compare against, if it exists. I think, yeah, or something else that like does a comparison between the states. Like you have the original state, then you have the new state. Um, probably. Hmm. Back to exporters. Exporters here. You have registered exporters, which are currently individual classes, which kind of works. But I still need to be able to retrieve the information, like how. If I have a set of basic functions, so if I go like with a struct pattern instead. I 
exporter functions. We'll have like uh, one that has like the declaration char star. I I, I want to have like a type. Like what? How do I determine the exporter type? I don't want to use an enum because that requires me to know all of the types beforehand. And I'll only really know the binary and the YAML, YAML ones for now, so that's not really going to work. And I really don't know if I really want to do that. What if track on star? Hmm. Is it like going to be like the functions? Is that how we return stuff? Border base I and mean, what again? There's just nothing here. So we have okay, okay. Uh, where is the ML one? Exporter. This is the thing we need. First of all, we need something like this. Error code function pointer. That's export function. Can I use the location of the function to determine something? No, not really. Version info function, something like that. And it returns a char const star star. And returns a version thing. I need like a something like this, which is a version which is unsigned int major. Which is what 12 10 10 bits I got the what 32 bits to work with yeah it's a 10 unsigned minor for another 10 and then unsigned int patch which is like 12 and then I need like a Static. Size 12. Okay. Make sure it's the same size as one of those. Something like that. That returns a string, that returns that. Okay, and then we have the export function. takes in a file system path and takes 
than that. Then on the other side, we will have a list. So we'll, st we'll still use the msync, but I'm thinking that we want a new vector of those. I don't want to kind of go with this anymore really having instances hmm unless i pass these in directly I just have them here locally instead of a function and then have this as the function that that and the function mm. probably some other functions that determine how it saves like the file type mm. something like that something like that maybe IMX register exporter. IMX export void foe. Uh, and I need to return. That. And the ability to deregister will probably require an error code as well. Then what would I do? How would I do this? I would kind of return a list, a set of these things, perhaps. Export auto So I want to kind of follow, for this, I'll follow the Vulcan way for retrieving items. So you'll have, what? I'm trying to think, like there's two things. You have a pointer to a list of a size and then the count. And then you can determine like how many things you put in via that. So if I go into here, source, and I'm creating the runtime or the session. I don't know, I should forget which one it is. Get device queue, no, not quite. Something like, not quite this, here. First of all, you get the number of queue families and the null pointer, yeah. Size T. Oh, sorry, you went 
something like that. All right, let's get these three off the dead end. If this equals no pointer, then we want to instead we just uh, want to we've got to lock this anyways. And sync that. Then we want to return so star p exporter count equals available exporters dot size like that. Otherwise, and then return. Then otherwise, we're here. Provided memory. exporters and I is less than um, all right minimum count we want to go to the minimum of either standard minimum of Count and between that and, and available exporters of size. That's not going to work because of that. So stop. Okay. 32. Type. Do, 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 do. Fill in really standard fill in. I thought that did exist, or is it somewhere else? It's in algorithm, yeah. First count that. Oh, okay. Standard copy. Into P exporters. Export is that to that. Okay, great. And then we return. Oh, and then um, star P exporter count equals min count. Then we return.
It's okay. Now we need to scope lock this. And we also have to do the same thing here. Then we need to go through and see if we can do a copy. So we need to do something string compare. Um, standards view. Okay, can I do operator equal outside of struct? Okay, I can. I looks like I can. So, bool operator equal equal. So exporter left hand side. If it equals exporter, then return something nasty. I can actually get this. So for this yet so that's just kind of Function not viable, no known conversion from this to this. Okay, maybe it's just a bit of a clang D thing. Okay, no, I actually need, need the function to exist.
Okay, okay, okay. And that. so if that, then I need to return an error code functionality exporter already registered. So I already have that available right here. Otherwise, we've got to go through, we're going to add available exporters dot place back export. Otherwise, we kind of need to do the same thing, but offset here. That equals that then and available dot erase iterator and then return. Return that. I need to add that to the error code here. I'll have to uh, implement some like is greater than or less than kind of stuff for this later as well, aren't I? Some other time. Why do I only have exporter stuff? Do I not just like care about importers? They're just not interesting. Okay, let's kind of roll with this then. Let's, um, <clears throat> in order to do this, I need like exporter two. Something like that. So I kind of have this. I need to register something like this. Yeah.
Hmm. Would that really be it? I mean, in the back of my mind, that would be it, but... Um, export for 2.cpp. A bunch, uh, a couple of empty stuff. Would I have a bunch of empty stuff? Not really. I'd have. Okay, no, I would have one thing in here, which would be the function that would basically be calling the exporter. What it would do. Hmm. Okay. Now I can kind of do have both at the same time right now if I think about it I think so I only have the export her I don't really have any way of registering functionality to it yet Hmm. Oh, it's not looking good. I need this. I need this function. I don't know why it's still a boolean. It really should be uh, this standard error code. Export state, which will take path and tsim state. YAML register exporter. No, not IMEX YAML, just register exporter that that Okay, great. Dot p name equals exporter just name dot data.
I need to save this so that'll actually, yeah. Okay, we have the we have this. Then the idea would be back in save. I need a new dialogue for exporter dialogue. That we start with false. Um, this work if I have an exporter I would need to double check that it's still around wouldn't I you know what for now every time you just choose a an exporter right now anyways so save as I need to do this p data and choose export true. so he starts off that one if Then I need to do, this starts off at the very beginning realistically. I need a modal, which is like that. Then I need to actually Set that. Save. Close current pop up, then I instantly go into that one. Separator, we have a couple of buttons. Um, then I need to have, like, at this point, exporters. Okay. I need to, first of all, If you're in the modal, that means you're not going to be able to select and remove exporters right now. Mm, yeah. So, he went 32. T. Actually, each time it rolls through. Oh, no, no. Then you can actually add and remove them outside because they'll change based on that. Wouldn't it? Oh, yes, indeed. Uh,
New that times num exporters. I can just kind of do this really. There's a standard vector for how many like there's a constructor. Is there a constructor I can use to just I'll count? Uh, there's a count one, yeah I can do that. I need to do this for that. Oh, no, 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 no. It has to be number of exporters because it could be different. Label and active. Uh, which would be what? P exporters I dot name. And it's always inactive for the moment. I would actually need to do something else about that, wouldn't I? That doesn't seem to do anything right now. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, oh, yeah, I need to actually use the correct exporter. Export registrar, okay. Ring up register export functionality, okay. Where is the importer? IMAX YAML generator. Okay, it's probably around here. Import, yeah. Export, okay, include. So, YAML exporter 2. These really should be returning something. quite I'm not I'm not compiling this yet
Oh, I'm not returning anything out of this, am I? Uh, return foe. Oh, success. Lovely. Yamo. Yeah, oh, yeah, I don't, I actually, and then I, that needs to be. Okay, uh, if I select one. I need the ability to determine <clears throat> what I have selected and keep that around. So I need something like foe export, yeah. which means I need to actually include exporters. Which also means I need some kind of like uh, thing to determine like I need to be able to compare these things. Both in a C and C++ way, which means I can't really use operator equals as easily. Hmm. For the moment, just this. We'll, we'll just use this. This, or rather, that belongs down here, up here. back to save I need to make sure if So by default, this will be blank. Cool. How? Basic string view of a null pointer. Uh-huh. You're actually going to try to compare these. Pointer. 
If they're both null pointer. If they're not the same, and then that, return false. Okay, uh, if they're not the same and they're not null pointer, then do that. If they are both the same, What I want to do is get rid of this, basically, get rid of this out of here. Um, if they're the same, if they're both pointing at the same thing, then that counts as equal, I'll be fine with that. If they're not the same, if either of them are null pointer, then do that. Otherwise, I need to return if this not equal that, turn false. If they're both like pointers to the same thing, they're equal. Yes. I really would have thought string view could handle a null pointer. But I was wrong. I would have figured it would. Interesting. Oh, uh, right. If I select it, I need to actually set the exporter to be that. Valid exporter equals true. Otherwise, we do the same thing back there as well. Valid exporter, valid exporter. It's false. If valid exporter, then we show the use and whatever button here. put it on the same line only if like that can I kind of put it, shift the things to the right right align mm. first of all let's see how it, this actually works Then we get into this, that's great.
Save as, let's say we save that, and we cancel, and we retry it. It'll still be selected from last time. Okay. Okay. So that, then that, then that. So the entire UI for the saving stuff will be kind of like 166 lines. Most of the logic is outside, which is good. I really want to minimize the UI stuff, which would make sense. Yes, it would. All right, let me, about an hour, let me grab a drink. Okay, so we are still using this. So, hmm. if we go to save, I also need to already have like an exporter available, um, which means I kind of need to know how it was imported in the first place. So, On the importer, when I create an import, okay. <laughs> what about We do this, we get the exporters. Hmm. Okay, for the moment we'll just get in we'll we'll just get one. I just want to get one. that we have that of one number exporter we just grab one and then I just want to roll if <clears throat> I just want to dot p export function test export p data ba -ba -ba mp simulation state like that Why? Hmm. Okay, let's see if I can uh, wipe these out. Great. Let's see how that works. So then that would mean I can get rid of the faux YAML exporter from here. Oh, I need to be able to close the pop-up. Yeah. Okay. That means I can get rid of this. So this is pretty generic now. Yeah. 
if um, I don't really have anything to do except standard uh, board uh, realistically right now. So, uh, F5. Hmm. I'm sorry, what? What's with my keyboard? What's going on? Oh. It's already that's why I already had one started save yes okay uh almost I kind of need to stop the exporter application save functionality here we go right about here not that but that No exporters, we do that. Yes, and then we're going to hit that. Perfect. Either deal with the case of having no available exporters. That's good. So, I have that. This is part of this. State import. Okay, yeah, I do kind of need to rework this because realistically, <clears throat> this shouldn't be here. There should be just like an import into simulation state. Okay. Um, Hmm. I'm trying to think of how I can like is there a way I can share resources because if I want to import state I don't want to necessarily have to like reload or re-import all the resources again I want to try to share them across different simulations if possible Which kind of precludes me from using the system I have right now. I mean, I can do use, use that for the component data, but resources? Like how would I share resources across different simulations? That is a... Mm, that's something I didn't really think of. Hmm. So, so, okay, I'm going to have to deal with that later. Uh, but for now, do I use this anymore, realistically? Where else do I even use this? Here and here and here. So, ah, yes. I'm still using it to be able to, to determine if it's a usable type when I'm registering and deregistering content which means I need to do a bunch of work on this again 
But, okay, I'll call it here for now for this because this is kind of my first objective, which was to get the ability to save stuff. And I've kind of done, I've kind of got that done now. Now I just need to kind of like stay offline for a little bit, figure out how, like I kind of have that, that version and name info, so I might be able to use that to do, replace this dynamic cast system, which kind of screws up uh, me over on Windows. But I'm not sure yet if that's going to be the best or if there's another way I can make this work. Whatever the case may be, that's it for now. Cheers.